5G. It's been at the center of conspiracies about the pandemic and about the government, but what is it? And why are people being pushed to swap out their tech gadgets for 5G compatible gear? Ike Brunch joins us today with those answers. He's with AT&T. So what is 5G, Ike? Well, so I'm going to give you a little bit of history of 5G. So okay. first of all, thank you for having me. Uh, we came out with 3G about 20 years ago. You were able to see some videos, connect to a few things. Then we came out with uh, 4G 10 years after that. And you were able to um, hook up to different devices and move faster. Now we have 5G when you can move. We can move cars with 5G, open refrigerators with 5G. 5G is on a totally different level right now than what the, the, the things we've came up from the past. So is the biggest difference that the user would notice between 3 and 4G and 5G the speed of like when you're looking at videos or what's the biggest difference they would notice? Well, the HD, first of all, the quality of the picture. Okay. Um, then you look at the lagging, uh, different areas that you're at. So, you know, when you're on the 3G to the 5G, you're able to watch movies faster, move through them. So it's, like, it's a totally different experience. So we started 3G with our cell phones, some of the first smartphones. Mm -hmm. Now, when we're talking about 5G, what what are the range of devices that use this? You talked about moving cars with 5G. It, it's a lot. So you're looking at smart cars. Some cars run off of um, di diff well, different things you can move with your car as far as your um, through your Wi-Fi. You ha also have um, you can refrigerators or your lawnmower. Anything that they can pull up 5G that we can connect the device to, you can be able to use. We have so many devices these days. Okay, so is 5G more or less secure? It is, it is more secure. Okay, and why is that? Uh, so it's more secure. So we have a uh, different website that we can put up on the screen or we can send out later, but it's encrypted to make sure nothing, nobody gets your information. Okay, so it's encrypted, got mm -hmm. it. Okay, so what if people want 5G? Do we automatically get it? Do we have to sign up for it? Does well, it depend on our carrier? Where does it come from? Well, it comes from at and <laughs> Let's go ahead and say that. So no, um, so you can go to your local at and store, uh, talk to them, just get them to know, hey, I want a new 5G device. There's so many different devices out there. We have the new iPhone 14, Samsung Fold, we have the Samsung Flip, we have iPads, we have an Apple Watch, so many devices that can come with a 5G. So all the new devices will automatically have 5G. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. what if people don't want 5G? They say, no, I like the 3G. Well, here's the thing, and you have people that are that do want to keep it. Yeah. What we we'll do is, as technology goes on, you got to think about it. We weren't able to open a phone with our face, like we can open a phone with our face now. So technology is going to go on. We're going to send you emails, we'll send you a text message. Just, hey, come on to the local store, let's get you into a brand new 5G device. Okay, so you really are trying to push people to switch out yes. their, their phones are only going to get slower if yes, they hang on to the 3G. Slow okay. and lag a little bit. Yep. Okay, good to know. Mm -hmm. Ike, that is very helpful. Thank you so much for joining us today. Really appreciate right, it. Thank you for having me.